yes, I'm, I'm, we are about that, um, thinking, working on, on a response, of course. Um, Performance-wise, um, I was, and the, the, the longer I thought about the game, which is quite mm -hmm. difficult, they're directly after the game, and you have all these interviews that you already thought about the game, really, you only react like spontaneous on the questions, stuff like that. Um, it was not a game you usually lose, to be honest. Um, it was a, a really good, it was a mature game at, at Napoli against a difficult opponent. Um, can be that people um, expect us to dominate a game like this more, but that's actually not possible. The quality of Napoli is too, is too big for that. And um, so I really, I was really happy with a lot of parts of the game. Of course, not with our creating chances, finishing, stuff like that. But again, a very good side. Koulibaly, the last line. So uh, Manolas, the fullbacks, the good defending midfielders. It's not a team you, you play against and, and score easily, like um, two, three, four goals. But we could have had better chances with a few better decisions. That's how it is. But then if you play a game like this, uh, you stay in the game and you, you, you keep it open with a, with a nil-nil. We did that until the penalty happened and, um, and the second goal that we don't really have to talk about. So, But then you lose the game. That's how it happens. It's in the small details and we accept that. It was not that we felt, oh my God, how could that happen or whatever. So it's just important that we, that we, we are in a good shape and um, we have to keep that going. That's, that's about, it's not about now coming from a minus 20 point to try to get to a plus 50 point. It's, it's really, we are, we are in a good moment and we, we, should, we should keep that. And um, so, but still, result-wise um, and in performance-wise in, in parts, we, we want to we wanna show it, that we want to make it better. That's how it is. So, but it's a, that's the reason why we have um, four and a half. So that's how it is. Um, it's not, uh, we said it now a couple of times. It's not easy for the for the in the moment number four, if you want, not playing. Sometimes not involved in the squad stuff like that. But in a moment, when so, if something happens, and like it was last year, then it happens. Not only one, not, not only one thing happens, and a um, couple of things happen, and then you you end up with one and a half in a defensive midfielder. And what we did against Bayern, we had to play against Bayern the home game, I think, with Fabinho and 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 Virgil as and halves. If I'm right, and um, so that can happen. Um, and of course, unlucky, but you cannot think before you have an injury about injury. So it's like you. How we all said, we all need to, we all need luck to be really successful. And in this, in this, um, and, and injury-wise, first and foremost. And um, so, yeah, I, I can imagine that something like that is not easy. But um, I, the other guys, I, 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 I've said it a lot of times. From my point of view, we have four world-class centre halves, so they can they can play together in each in each partnership, and um, hopefully um, that will be enough for the season. To be honest, yeah, yeah, that, that, but that's normal. So the Southampton thing was uh, thing was exceptional, of course, and but I said human beings making mistakes, wrong decisions. That happens constantly you know, on a football pitch. It, um, it's then quite obvious. But um, of course, she's. Uh, I don't know how long he was in when we played Southampton. Maybe two or three weeks, max, not longer. And now it's, of course, we have had a couple of sessions, or, or rather a lot of sessions, um, where, where we could work on that. And of course, they know each other much better. Thank, um, hopefully it stays like this, that because now it's a, 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 they, they start having a real a real connection, but that couldn't couldn't have been the case in the in the, in the first few games. There was no chance for that. We, have, we just had to to take what we what we got. Um, use Adrian without no match praxis or, or uh, no match experience for I don't know how long, um, and that um, he did really well. He did outstandingly well, and um, yeah, now they have the connection we need, and that's good, of course. Uh, bear with me on this one. Um, since, <laughs> since the last time that you won away at Stamford Bridge, which was September 2016, you've won just one of 12 matches against your fellow top six teams away from home, which surprised me, really. I don't know if it surprises you or not. I, it, why do you think that is? Because they're really good, eh? Could be one reason. Um... But then, just in comparison, Manchester City have won seven in that time, and Crystal Palace have won five against the top six teams in that time as well. So, it's not a nice comparison, actually, the style of play, Crystal Palace and City. But yeah, obviously, there are different ways to win away games, so we have to find one. Um, 
Uh, yeah, but it doesn't. These are not good news, obviously. But it doesn't. I doesn't. I don't feel it. Um, so it's. Give it a try. I think um, a lot of people said it already. The longer you, you know, things like this happen, the, the more likely it is that it will change it. So we go there, of course, to 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 get a result. We cannot go to Chelsea and uh, and 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 want to have a guarantee that you win the game. They are just too strong for that. But um, I think we had. I am not sure when it was. 2016, maybe it was 16 when we when we won against all. Pretty much got, got all the points from top six and, and had all the other problems. So that's how life is. <laughs> um, and then we, we, were, we are much more successful winning all the other games and, uh, and, and having some results. How many games did we draw in that time or did we lose all of in them? that time, you drew six and you lost five. Uh, well, that's still a positive statistic, actually. So, look. It was just surprising that was all. When I yeah, 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 yeah. No. Unlucky in moments, I'm sure. Good performances, really good performance of the opponent and others. Um, Chelsea was last year, I think, pretty late again, always pretty late away games when you came from any um, international games or stuff like that. And um, United last year was not a thrilling game, but um, we could have won it anyway. Yeah. Well, different reasons, obviously. Arsenal, Arsenal as well. We, 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 I thought we won there, but it's long ago. Spurs is the only one in that time. Uh, ah, OK. So, yeah, obviously a job to do. But um, I thought we prepared a game um, besides that stat statistic. So, um, and we really focus on that game and not about the results we had until. But it's all about the quality and the performance. What can I say? It's nothing. Uh, it's not written in the stars that we are not allowed to win away against Chelsea, but it's obviously difficult and um, we still should try it. And I know I need to get out more in terms of that as well. Um, Injury-wise then, how is it looking? Is it is it same as? Have you got any good news for us in terms of players coming back? So, um, Nabi Keta is, uh, will be back in training at least, so then with first. The team or yeah, with the team, with the team. Today then, first time with the team. Ali is making big progress, but still um, away from what he had a proper session yesterday with, um, with John Achterberg. Um, not in team training yet, and um, and if yeah, we have to see day by day. So that's how it was from the first day. How can he deal with the with the pain and stuff like that? So. We will, we will see. Well, I, um, I don't know exactly. It's pretty early today. I don't know exactly what the medical department tells me about that case. So you've not ruled Divock out as such yet? I think it's unlikely, but I don't. Uh, why should I rule him out? No. Okay. Well, it's unlikely. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jürgen, at the start of the season, I know you come against Chelsea in the Super Cup, but you spoke about how you were looking forward to coming up against new managers. How, how do you think Frank has done, or what's your assessment of him in these? Six weeks of the of the season so far. Well, really well. So, um, I, but it's difficult to say a lot about. It. I don't think it's my job to, to talk about um, other managers really. But um, um, what I can say, well, they, they play exciting football. Huh? Uh, they do. I didn't see yet. Uh, we have analysed meeting by the way after this meeting, and uh, so I have to look back the the Champions League game. Um, well, they played, but they play now. Played the last two games a different system to the, the first few games, so they changed the system in a very busy period of the year. So that's interesting. Um, of course, he has the players for it. Um, how's that? Really exciting football team, young, but good, really good. And um, yeah, and, and for me, it's not a surprise. Uh, Frank did last year. I said it before, and I'm probably people think I only say that because I'm polite. If I if I would be polite, I don't. Um, then I don't speak actually about another manager. But um, it, it's not polite. It's the truth. He did an outstanding job at Derby, and um, and so I'm not surprised that he's doing a really, really good job at Chelsea as well. So, um, but it's a difficult league, and uh, we have to prove our quality um, pretty much in a day, three-day rhythm. And um, so, sometimes it works out, and sometimes not. We know that as well, but. I can see that um, the results maybe people were not so happy with were because of him. So that's because of the opponent, because of the, how the match goes and stuff like that. I, I really, I really um, think he's a, a a really, really good manager. 
Jürgen, um, disappointing result in midweek, but another excellent performance from Fabinho. <laughs> when you consider what he's done over the last 12 months, I mean, I think Liverpool's record in the Premier League when he started, I'm not even sure they've lost a game. How important has he become in terms of being part of that defensive screen and the fact that he, the assistance he gives to the central defenders? and He's become a really big part of, of, of what you have now, hasn't he? That's not a surprise as well. So we, 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 that's why we signed him. We, 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 he plays like he played actually at Monaco, and um, but he needed time to to adapt to the different rhythm and a different tempo in the league. That's it. But in the moment when that happened, when he got used to that, in the moment, then since then he can play like he plays because of his quality. So, and a very smart footballer, very smart, um, and of course really skilled in, in all defensive uh, things. Um, so, so that the, these individual defensive things not um, are really difficult to learn. So it's it's like a, if you have a sensational right foot or a sensational left foot for a specific shot, um, or if you have this skill in one-one situations, that's um, that's a skill, and he, he used that pretty well. So, um, but this alone would not make him the player he is. So it's about all the his game intelligence is is, is really is really good, and um, that helps all of us. But playing. Even if been, you're playing in a midfield with having two players around him who are not really involved in defending, you look like, um, yeah, you look completely different as a player. So it's all about um, why are our defensive players, why we talk so often about our defensive players, um, how good they are and stuff like this. It's because the team defends in a specific manner, and that's uh, that's that's really important. And um, if you are not alone. If you have um, smart boys and good boys around you, it makes life always easier than in football especially. So, yes, very important part of the team, of course, but thank God he doesn't have to play alone. Exciting team. Absolutely, absolutely. And Otzno didn't really start a season so far. So. And um, so they had obviously a couple of problems, but I really think they sorted it well. But now they lost the Champions League game two in the week, which probably, I don't think they... they um, Expected that to happen, <laughs> but it's Champions League and it can happen. And um, so, but uh, so they will make their experiences. It's um, it's really it's it's a really exciting team. But I said it reminds me a little bit of my team in, at, at Dortmund years back when they were really young, even younger than this team now at Chelsea. But um, and people were always talking about how young they are, how young they are. But they only played because they were that good. They didn't play because they were that young. And um, if you you see that they, they they brought in Christian Pulisic in the summer. I'm not sure 100% about the money, 50, 60 million, something like that. And all the players around him have the same value. <clears throat> oh, Tammy Abram is now a 60 million player. Mason Mount for sure, 60 million, if not more. Hudson Adoy was before that already. Um, I don't know what people said exactly, but that's um, we have. Um, Jorginho, not that young, but um, not that long in the league. You have Kante, who looks like he um, could play for the next 20 years. So it's um, the, the, so maybe he's 18 or whatever physically, but it's unbelievable. So they have these Kovacic, Barclay, all this stuff. Then the experienced guys around them: Pedro, Billion, Giroud, from the bench, uh, Batshuayi. So this, if if there's one club, I would say in the world, who uh, a transfer ban didn't hit that bad. Um, it was probably Chelsea because of the the, the transfer policy they, they they did in the last few years with all these players on loan out there and and, and these high quality players. And Tammy Abram scored last year 20 something goals. I'm not sure. But, uh, the year before he was already pretty successful already. So it's not that he learned where the goal is um, at Chelsea. You so he he found it in different places already. So that's just a good a good team and. Um, all my respect. It's, it's really they are a proper, proper contender for pretty much everything. But yeah, not now we play them on Sunday, and um, anyway we want to get there something to plan. No, there's no difference really. We didn't we didn't focus more on offensive things and, and forgot the defensive things. It's about uh, yeah, the, goal, the, the goals happened completely. Um, Strange. So there would have been a second clean sheet at Southampton if you don't concede that goal. There could have been different clean sheets in other games. So yeah, of course, um, it's 
not exactly what we want to have, but we don't collect clean sheets and, 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 and think then we can um, string them up or whatever and, 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 and show them everybody we want to we win football games and we are still early in the season. So that's how it is and we have to improve and we have to develop and that's what we want to do. Um, but it's no, but it's not because we, we have a different approach to last year. No. Jürgen, obviously a player that you know well in the Chelsea side, and Christian Pulisic. Um, just how do you think he's going to get on in the Premier League? It's obviously been a quietish start for him, but he's, he's a big talent, isn't he? Unfortunately, good. <laughs> he, will be, he will be a proper player. He is and will be big talent, dynamic, pretty good with both feet. Yeah, super exciting player, absolutely. Good signing, I have to say.